gonna just raise my corpse? Rude. I love how expressive they are in this one. The facial animation is so. You have no idea. I do. It's a good one. It works. <laughs> ah, there you are. As we begin this chapter of our story, we find you, Roger, Ace Janitor, doing what you do best. A beep emanates from your wristwatch. You release your grip on the broom. The broom floats away, never to be used again. That makes the third one this week. Wait till your boss finds out. Oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I... Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. But that was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic. From a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah. It's a the treasure is mine. All mine. I wouldn't be so quick to Yeah. Well, rip her. What? Okay. I call B. That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap. Crap, what was that? Hey, rude. What the hell?
just got dropped out of a plane. But at least. What's wrong with. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> nice. I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Holy crap, that was... That might not have hit anything yet. Although, I'm kind of wondering how far that wave might maintain its height. That bridge could be in trouble. Um, but... That was impressive as hell. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Wooden barracks constructed in Mayo. I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the earth rather than in mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make... Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Hey! I have not... I have not looted that, sir! No explosions, what's up? Oh. <laughs> wow. You step on a part of the track which is extremely narrow. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad except the sudden. <laughs> Ancestors, the humankind, Odyssey tasks you with guiding the evolution of our own distant ancestors. Here, I'm coming up on a venomous snake, which can be intimidated away if our proto-human is brave enough to challenge it. Here's the encounter. <laughs> and I have miserably failed to intimidate the snake away. So that's going to be some venom that's going to take a while to wear off. Unless maybe he's smart enough to figure out how to get it cured early. Damn it. Oh crap. Ah. I shouldn't have said anything. Ah. Oh god. Oh why? Chat, why? not going to fight the dragon. And down you go. This 
steel helmet of minor alteration. Happy New Year, Dragon. <laughs> We all know your history with these pressure plates. You're gonna be careful, right? No, she's not gonna be careful. <sighs> you could at least be uncareful without actually just standing directly on it. Looks like we've maybe got three left. Did I say three? I meant. Look, Ket. Where there's Ket, there's trouble. We have to deal with this. Dealt with. Well, <laughs> that was awkwardly placed. Two for one. Wow. What the hell? They really are like little head... that the jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. He looked at me funny. What can I <laughs> Oh my god, the charging of the boar. Oh. Oh my god! That has to be a reference. That must be a reference. There's no way that's not a reference. Strog jog rog? Um. We are on track to try and find the Death Star. Grand Moff Tarkin will be outraged. Someone has stolen precious data from inside the Grand Moff. <laughs> the Grand Moffus, I love it. It's called the Grand Moffus. Now don't just stand there looking at me. Go retrieve those stolen plans. The thief fled in an ATSP, so get moving. That.
my god, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm in RimWorld. So, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh my... Oh my god. Was that? I've never seen that before. These poor dinosaurs, they're being sniped at from all sides. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing? It's good to see you, Bob and Space Vikings. I hope you and everyone else are having a fantastic evening tonight. Tonight, we are going to be playing some more Subnautica, and we're going to go down deeper, or at least we're going to prepare to go down deeper than we've ever gone before. Um, we might actually end up going down deep, too, as just depends, you know, on how much preparation we get done and the stuff like that. So... Navi, how's it going? It's good to see you. I was kind of on the fence a little bit. I was very, very tempted to play some Star Citizen. I've never played it before. I've had a ship since 2014. Ooh. Which is apparently when I redeemed the ship that came with my previous video card. Uh, an AMD R9. That was the card I actually started streaming with. But, um, yeah, that came with a ship for Star Citizen that I still have. And apparently it's a very, very, very rare ship nowadays. You cannot get them anymore. So that's kind of exciting. But unfortunately, it's not going to actually do me much good in game because it's a racing ship. I'm not much of a racer and it has no cargo capacity. So I can't really play that ship the way I'm going to want to play the game. So I will need another ship. How's it going, Anstara? How's it going, Sketchy? Uh, anyway, enough about that. We might try out Star Citizen on Friday. I'm debating maybe using that one for our long stream of the month, which, by the way, is Friday. We'll see how it goes. So let's get Subnautica below zero up. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't really count. <laughs> That's very different. I'm not saying I have never raced. Of course I have raced. I even win on occasion. It's just not something I really seek out, and it's not something I'm especially great at. And the race mechanics in Star Citizen are nowhere near comparable to the race mechanics in Knights of the Old Republic. Okay, so let's see what we can do for the prawn suit here. We can't neglect the prawn suit. I think I have some new stuff. Uh, we can theoretically do the drills uh, arm. So I need one more piece of titanium, some lithium, and four diamonds. And I laugh at the requirement for diamonds now because we've got so freaking many of them. Lithium, and I need just one titanium. My kingdom for titanium. That's unfortunate, Bob. I hope you're able to redirect it and get the location back. Ah, there we go. Okay.
Okay, that is one drill. Oh. <laughs> that apparently I didn't need to make. But that's okay. That's fine. There we go. No harm done. I love this thing. We need that in Subnautica. Hey, Med, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. So far, so good for me. I discovered that my original star citizenship is actually still on my account, so that's cool. Try putting it back a notch. Instead of pointing at the direct folder, go back to the parent folder, Bob. Let's see if it finds it then. Uh, okay, so we don't need to make the drill suit arm because we've already done that, and I don't need two of those. We could do the thermal reactor. I need polyaniline for that. I still need to get lead so we can make the uh, the docking station as well. So what is polyaniline? Hydrochloric acid and gold. Young cotton anemone. Oh, crap. Where did we find... Oh, I... Th okay, we're going to have to find that place with the young cotton... Or the cotton anemone again. Uh... I guess that'll be okay. Oh, it's that issue, Bob. Yeah. You're probably going to end up having to re-download it, I'm afraid. Epic is really annoying that way. I've had that happen before, too. Okay, I'm probably going to want that back. Yep, that is the base-bound dock for the sea truck. It is pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about it is that you have to basically, you have to park it with the modules attached. You can't just store modules in it, which would have been perfect if you could do that. Okay, I know there was a beacon... Where do we want to go? We're not looking for that. We're not looking for that. I think it was PK-8, maybe. I might be wrong. Just like Xbox in some, uh, oh, at least it's less irritating than trying to make a stamina bar work on Unreal. You'll get there. Actually, if you want to run some experiments, try asking ChatGPT how to make a stamina bar work on Unreal. Show it your code, see if it can help you.
Cal and Ray, how's it going? It's good to see you. Oh, you got it to work, okay. I remember coming here before, but this is not what I was hoping for. I don't think. that's going to lead us anywhere useful or actually is that a hint of purple down there no I don't think I can fit this in yeah that was my experience with epic it's not easy to just you know reinstall the app and make it recognize that you had the games and the data is still on your drive they're doing a lot of really good things with that app reinstallation is not one of them I can officially say Cleric and I don't have COVID. However, process of elimination looks like it's strep. So doctor's appointment tomorrow for antibiotics. That freaking sucks, Kellen, right? I am sorry. Although I am glad to hear that you don't have COVID at least. I think there's a Leviathan circling above me. There it is. We're on the mend, but still miserable, so time for antibiotics. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Now, you're going to make, like, a nice leviathan and go away, aren't you? There's really no need for you to hang out right here. Is that another one? What the heck, Callan Ray? Thank you so much for the Leviathan biddies. I appreciate that. Oh, that is another Leviathan. That one's a peaceful one. We should be okay.
maybe it was down here. Might have been down here. Oh no, wait, this is another pathway back to the, the Nope region. Which gives me free biddies for doing surveys. Oh, they still do that. I actually wasn't aware that they still did that. That's really awesome. And I really, really appreciate it. Okay, this is the Nope region again. We don't need to go there yet. I really want my depth increased before we can do that. Okay. Unfortunately, this means I don't think I actually know how to find what I'm looking for. Oh, ads are in progress. I apologize. I'll be right back. Oh, <laughs> that was not Bembe. Oops. <laughs> I'm very sorry for attaching a number of mines directly to your body. I did it. Okay. Scylla, you ever use the forest just for fun? You know. A little jolt of the force to trip out some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Oh, come on. There's got to be times when you've thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a pretty little... <laughs> well, that answers What's your that? question. Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. <laughs> Please, do try to be less... Okay, I am back. I'm looking for the cotton anemone, Cal and Ray. Uh, 
I have confirmed that it's not in the nope zone. Oh, you know what? I don't think it's too terribly far from the nope zone. I think we want... I think it's more in that direction. Yeah, that's a favorite of mine, Kellenry. Thank you, Bob. Good luck with the re-downloading. I know it sucks to have to do that. I had quite a few games on Epic downloaded at one point, and then I reinstalled my operating system, and therefore also Epic. And so I had to redo all of it, and that was less than fun. Yeah, okay. I was kind of coming to that conclusion. Thank you, Kellen Ray. That is a nice confirmation. Sorry. And thank you, Kellen Ray. All right, let's poke around a little bit more, see what we can find. It'll buff out, that's okay. Doesn't seem to be in here. Not sure if it's in here either. It 
pretty certain this just leads right... Yeah, that's the nope zone. Can you be a little more specific with your hint, given that I've actually been to the cotton anemone? I just didn't think to actually take some for growing, because I didn't know you could do that. its roots you can go down go back out of Marguerite's place and look for the bigger detached island where Omega is oh oh okay then we want that instead of here Welcome back, Zenobia. And I appreciate it, Kellen Ray. This is literally just reminding me, though. I have found it before. If I had realized that I could take a piece back for cultivation, I would have done so. This looks like it. And this is convenient, because I also needed more of the spore thingies. That's a technical term. Thank you much, Lee. space do I have? Plenty. So I'm going to get a few of these.
Hmm. Okay, that's a little weird. Nope, no grapple arm yet. I have one piece of it. I don't have it yet, though. Oh, the smaller mushrooms, okay. I wouldn't mind a hint on the arm. It's going to be awkward getting around with just the one. I mean, not impossible. A lot of people don't even realize you can make two grapple arms for the bronze suit. But I do definitely prefer to have both. Oh, you, oh nope, I have one salad left. Okay, good. Vital signs stabilizing. They act like the ghost mushrooms you can get the seed by slicing. Okay, I will set up a new outdoor grow bed and make sure that I get those cultivating shortly. I already have the vast, vast majority of the monkey nest scanned. Actually, once I get the depth stuff for the prawn suit, and uh, once I get the the docking station for the sea truck to use with the prawn suit, I had meant to try to come back and explore a bit more in that area specifically to see if there are any nests that I might have missed. Because it does seem likely to me that the missing grapple arm is in there somewhere. But it's just a little bit too awkward finding them with the full sea truck get up. I think the prawn suit might be better. Or failing that, I could just try with only the cab of the uh, sea truck. But that's also a bit easier to navigate around the area. The only thing is, it would be so much easier to navigate around there in the prawn suit if I had a grapple arm. So I think I will probably just end up using the cab of the sea truck to go explore a little bit more. Plus I need to hang out with the monkeys anyway, because I've got recipes pinned. And, uh, you know, there was the revelation in chat yesterday that if you have a recipe pinned, it increases the likelihood the monkeys will bring you relevant items. They brought me two of the three nickel I need yesterday. I'm hoping one will bring me a third, because I still have no idea where to find nickel. But I don't really need to know if the monkeys are just going to bring it for me.
Got it, Kellen, right? Okay. Let's grab a couple of titanium, and we're going to need another grow bed. You can... I didn't realize you could plant the spiral plants. Okay. I might need to do another one specifically just for them. Jessica, how are you doing? Doing well, hope you are too. I am doing pretty good so far, thank you very much. So I'll probably have to wait till the spiral plant is a bit better grown. I think that one's coming up in here somewhere. Yeah, that looks like it right there. So we'll have to harvest that. Oh, I guess I didn't need to build another grow bed. I don't really need red wart growing here. But I guess that's okay. Um, I'll take those, grab that. Hydrochloric acid. Gold. It was polyaniline. Now I don't remember what I needed polyaniline for. I believe it was one of the upgrades for the prawn suit. Yes, the thermal reactor. Two kyanite, two polyaniline, one wiring kit.
And I'm going to need this too, prawn suit depth module. So that's that should actually be easy. Wiring kit. Synthetic fibers of the spiral plant clipping, so we need to w wait for that to get up. And then we need ruby. But there are rubies scattered everywhere we're going these days, so that should be not a problem. Oh, I already had some hydrochloric acid. A nice one. No, damn it. Okay, one benefit of having slept is I think my cultivation will be a lot further along. Maybe finished, kind of looks finished. Nope, it's not done yet, okay. Two-minute warning, folks. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Ads should be coming up in a couple of minutes. Stores are done. 67%. Come on. Speed up. I don't have all minute. Um. While we're waiting on that, why don't we just be productive? I'm going to go see if I can find some nickel. I'm 
also gonna. It's it's too. Can I? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. All right, we'll go find some nickel. After I run the uh, clips, so you guys don't miss anything because of ads. <laughs> what was that flashing noise? Where has Funky gone? Stop. They call them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that seem all that. Sixteen nine form factor aspect ratio. Oh no 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 no! Oh crap! Oh crap! Uh, okay, hang on a second here. Hours later. <laughs> this is fine. This is okay. Okay, I am back. I think... Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go back around there again. Thank you, Calamary. Thank you, Unstara. Oh, man. The Nope Zone is actually the entrance to it that we know about. That's actually surprisingly close to home.
Alright, let's see what we can find. I'm just gonna park this here. And we'll continue on with only this. Because it's a little bit easier to maneuver around. Oh, and I need rubies as well, if I remember right. Let me focus in on my recipes that I have tagged so they're more likely to bring the nickel, just in case. So, yes, that's the one I really want. Just go with those. See monkeys around want to trade? You can give me nickel, I'll give you big shiny nothing. Thank you. I get the feeling this is going all the way back down again. Which maybe that might be for the best if your hint is uh, to be believed and I have no reason to think that it's not. Your hints are usually pretty good and by usually I mean always. stuck there for a moment. Oh, it's an egg. I don't care about that. Hey, Cobra Ben. How are you doing?
That's the special egg of this game, like the sea monkey of last game. That's okay, I do not need it. Besides, I don't even know if they have alien containment in this game. If they've got creature eggs, I suppose they must, but I haven't seen a single sign of how to build it or where to get it. There is alien containment? Okay, interesting. Then it's gotta be part of Outpost Zero. There's part of that one I haven't found yet, and it was specifically where they were studying aliens, so it would make sense that uh, alien containment would be found there. would it? Oh my god, it is. Okay. I finally found some. It was a lot larger than the bits I was looking for. I was looking for something that looked like the first game. And honestly, it, it kind of does. It looks like they might have scaled it up quite a bit, though. Triops. But that should be the third nickel I need. The Marines know let here let out by the Yeah. It didn't even occur to me, but you're right, it does look snowy, doesn't it? Alright, let's go collect the rest of the truck. today.
come on. Oh, wrong side. That would do it. Wow, they got banged up a little bit. What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. I also appreciate the sea monkey bringing me some lead. Oh, thank you very much. Aren't you nice? Maybe I should just hang out here for a little while. Fish, what? A small predator which eliminates the need to overcome its prey by simply swallowing it whole. With its colorful markings, the newt can easily pass for a small herbivore, allowing it to sneak up on its prey. What looks like a beak is in fact a single stretchy extendable lip lined with barb-like teeth. Once within reach, it envelops its prey, drawing it inside its stomach before retreating for several weeks to digest its meal. Assessment harmless. Thank you so much. Wow. I was going to have to go looking for that. The newt fish is scary, how so? Is it just me, or does this particular music track sound like it belongs in part of the Mass Effect soundtrack? Newtfish, a study in deceptive coloration, it wants us to believe it's cute. Well, in fairness, it is cute. It's only its behavior that's terrifying.
we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay, so now I need a plasteel ingot, which means I might need more titanium. Uh, I've got one... Yeah, I have a feeling I'm probably going to have to go searching for titanium. Not that that's a challenge. I need one titanium. Okay, let's see what we can grab. Ah, yes, these are all done. Those are done. Those have been done forever. Let's see what we can grab. That works. And I've still got that one advanced wiring kit that I looted from somewhere ages ago. That should be aboard this someplace. Unless I moved it, which is quite possible. Oh. <laughs> I should have checked the ship. I already had a plasteel ingot, but that's okay. There it is. Calorie intake recommended. Docking module. Wow, it's actually a really small module. Huh. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. Does that get rid of my doorway out the back of the truck? That's unfortunate.
The back door's on top? Okay. Let's give it a shot and see. Wow, that is a little bit awkward, but I guess it works. Don't need that anymore. So now what is it I need? Oh, I have, wait, I have a Plasteel ingot already. Okay, we're gonna load this up and bring the ship back into dock and see if we can do that with the prawn suit docked in place. Wait, how, what? Oh, okay. That's not what I was expecting, but that's kind of cool. And that certainly does explain why you can't just exit out the back. Okay, having the prawn suit attached does not seem to prevent you from using the dock. That's handy. Now, can we exit while we are docked? Okay, awkwardly, but yes. Oh, look at that. Looks like it's standing there. I mean, it's kind of suspended a little bit above, but that's not bad at all. I like it. synthetic fibers already made too. I needed those for something or other. Okay, I needed that. I need a couple kyanite and I've got those around somewhere. Oh man, I have a lot of synthetic fibers. All right. Uh, and I just need the upgrade off the truck, which I think means I'm gonna have to... Can I... Hello? Upgrade access, anyone? Nope. 
No? All right, fine. Ah, crap. I am so sorry, folks. I just realized I completely missed an ad break. That's really annoying. Uh, now where did I make that one? Is that... Here, by any chance? Yes, it is. Finally. One thousand meters. on the prawn suit. We only have the jump jet upgrade for the prawn suit. We have nothing else. Ex well, the drill arm and the jump jet upgrade. Okay, so we want the thermal reactor eventually. I have hydrochloric acid already, so I just need another piece of gold, and I've got that. And then I've got enough kyanite as well. So I might as well do that, I guess. Realizing that for individual use of the prawn suit, my ship is not exactly optimally, or my base is not optimally designed. It's a bit of a drop off the back. With, of course, if with the, um, the grapple arm, that would be easy peasy enough. But without it, it might be awkward. There we go. Yeah, because let's see, where would we drop off if we were to do that? 
Assuming we fell right out the back, which I guess we'd probably end up standing on here, actually, which wouldn't be too bad. Oh, you know what? It's not as bad as I thought. It's basically right down onto here. That's probably doable. Okay, so there is the depth module one, which we don't have yet. Synthetic fibers, we got those. Rubies, got those. Enameled glass, might need to make that. Okay, um... So it'll be on the truck then if I need it. Lead, diamond, and glass. I'm gonna need lead. I should have the diamond. And the glass ought to be easy enough. I've probably got enough quartz. I do. Oh, actually, never mind. Never mind. I have the enameled glass. That's not going to work. I still need to get the afterburner and horsepower upgrades for the truck, actually. That's two more things. I don't suppose anyone has a little hint about that. Prawn suit depth module mark two. Kyanite, two more nickel ore, and the prawn suit depth module mark one that I just made. So I really just need two more nickel ore and I'm fine. Oh, nope, don't care about those. All right. A lot of good stuff can be found in the sea monkey nesting area. See, I was afraid you were going to say that. That's the part that I would love to explore using the prawn suit. It's also the part that I really want the grappling arm for exploring. Wow. 
Okay, so now with the depth module, it can go down 700 meters. So it's very slightly better than the truck had been. So I guess if I go down to 750 meters with the truck, the truck will be fine, but I'll be crushing the suit behind it. Oof. Hey, Selena, welcome on in. I like that they added the sea truck tube thing that wasn't there at launch. Yeah, that's the dock for it. It's really nice. I, I do like that quite a bit. There are ways in which I would love to see it improved, in fairness. It's only really usable if you have the uh, the front end of the truck in there. You can't just use it to store modules. I kind of wish there was another dock that allowed you to store different modules or something like that so that you could go and just slap them in on the back of the truck in whatever order you want. That would be pretty awesome, but uh, that's my only nitpick about it. Aside from that, it's pretty awesome. Captain. If you swim in there, can you grab the handles on the trucks? Yes, you can. I I have done that. You can also attach things if the truck is already in there. I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it, Seleno. Oh, I have another clipping. Okay. So I will take the Kyanite. Silver lithium. I might be out of silver by now. I do have lead, though. Cat just switched into fight mode? Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find some silver. Okay. Well, next round of materials gathering. This is really starting to get awkward to maneuver now.
Look at him pretending he was attacking something else. Wow. to you, sir. There we go. Oh, I've already made tons and tons and tons of it, California. I've got about four or five of them on my person and an entire compartment in my storage unit devoted to salads at this point. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing all right today. I hope Monday's treated everyone all right so far. I'll keep one spare just in case something runs out, I guess. I never watched it, but I remember when it was the whole big thing during the beginning stages of the pandemic, yeah. <laughs> Cheesier the better? That I can do. That I can do. Okay. Wow. What do you call a wolf that can catch a deer with either paw? Bambi Dextrous. Everyone was stuck at home and looking to binge something. Yep, I probably would have watched it if I weren't allergic to most reality TV. The only thing that people ever call reality TV that's ever really appealed to me is stuff like Mythbusters. Can you get a refund? Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. Eject docked vehicle? Oh, that's cool. I didn't... Wow. Nifty. Duck Dynasty? <laughs> I've heard of that one. That's about all I can say, though. I'm so glad I built the dome roof. I love this. I love that we're close enough to the surface to hear the hail as it hits the ocean. Mythbusters is not what I'd call reality TV. No, I don't think of it as reality TV either, but it's always categorized that way. How are we looking here? That one looks done. Alright, 
so. Been to Carol Baskin's place of business three times, aka Big Cat Rescue or something. Interesting. Greeny, how's it going? It's good to see you. Hang on just one moment while I exit the dock. You're in a place, but you're all right. Uh, I'm glad to hear you're all right. Guys, make sure you go give Greeny a follow. If you are not already. No problem. That was not my fault. You guys saw it. The fish swam into my ship. I certainly didn't run it down. Did I see your thing? I don't think I did. I've been in my own world all day. Hang on, I'm gonna go check your Discord. You're off on Friday, so you'll do a... Oh, very nice. Oh, ah, Octopath Traveler 2. That's going to be freaking exciting. I still need to play that first game. But I think before I get into Octopath, I probably want to stream Final Fantasy 5 and 6. I have not abandoned my playthrough of the, um, the Pixel remasters. They have slowed, but they're not forgotten. They might be on a little bit of a hiatus, though, because this year is just so insane for game releases. Which means you get to do Octopath 2. I, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I enjoyed watching you play the first one. I am really looking forward to seeing more of the second one. glitchy textures. fit down there right away. Maybe here. I think this is roughly where I came in last time. 
It's not a bad area to start from, I guess. Even though I do have the prawn suit, I think we're going to move around mostly with this thing. Hopefully I'll be able to find the grapple arm for it. And then I'll feel more confident moving around with it in these twisty little cave passages. Scanned? No, that is scanned. Okay. That one, I think that one is too. Yeah, it is. Kind of in a toss up to who to pick up as the main character. Did enjoy the magic dude in the prologue demo that you picked, but. Uh, you could always try some of the others. I mean, it's not like you're locked in. It's not like it's forever. You can always replay the game later if you want to experience a whole different experience of it, right? I mean, I know playing a game of that kind of length and complexity more than once. Especially on stream. Maybe that's... Um Maybe that's not the ideal plan, but it's it's a possibility at least. Okay, I don't think they're nesting up top here so much. Ah. Sorry. My bad. Whoops. Wow, California. Ninja, how's it going? It's good to see you. Stick with what I got or pick something else? Well, I mean, if you are enjoying the character, then you've already got a bit of a head start on that playthrough. That's the other way you could look at it. You could keep going with him, and you can always think, well, okay, maybe do a very different character next time you go through the game. Sometimes I really do miss the sea moth. Oh, there are nests in here too. Clearly I knew that at one point. Oh. Wow. Okay, never mind. This is where I parked.
I read that one, California. That was my response earlier. <laughs> Maybe it's in the nope zone? I hope not. Why is it a bad idea to iron your four-leaf clover? Because you shouldn't press your luck. suddenly questioning whether I explored this or not. It kinda looks like maybe I did not. This does not look at all familiar. Drill arm. And these boxes are still closed. Chinese potatoes. Green Turnian. Benefit from the lily pad life cycle. They tend to anchor themselves on the lily pad roots and near fallen lily pads and use the materials as nutrients. I'm not sure that's a joke, Bob. <laughs> um... Tangled, dense root structures that occasionally pull chunks of terrain from the seabed, connecting an intertwined network of plant life and suspended rock. Thank you. 
It's a valiant attempt nonetheless, Bob. So, wiring kit. Reactor rod. I'm alive. Stefano saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing, and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight, and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clicked into my seat anchor. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. I gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how, but he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. Last one before I go to bed tonight. I ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll let you know. Oh, God. <laughs> they may come in the same box, though. Now. We can pretend. Um, all right, I'm going to go back for a little bit more air. Stay in long enough. Okay, I'm not sure what to make of that room. Depleted uranium rod. 
a reactor rod. Oh, this just leads outside. Interesting. So how do we get into that other room then? How do we get in over there? gonna dip back to the ship for a little more oxygen. I know I have plenty of time, but why risk getting confused? so it's going through one of those. You know, I think that's the first access we've had to one of those in this game. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every Xenolinguist dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture which means civilization and civilization means da -da -da -da, language oh man and now most of the crew wants to get home I, I understand that but this could be a defining discovery I'm definitely going to put a bug and die in his ear about going to the surface so I can take a team to explore I desperately hope this pans out oh I can't wait till we get into communication range with soul again Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give them so much more. Okay. I love this. Ah, uh, this is it. Yes, this is the room. Okay. In 4.5 hours, I've downloaded more than half the game already. Very nice, Bob. Okay. That kind of looks like that's it for this room. Got the alien containment.
Have a good night, California. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. I will catch you again soon. Actually, in honor of finding that, let's save the game. here originally. Okay. That looks like a pad I haven't picked up yet. Oh, this is a hell of a room. This all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No, I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land, frigid, and cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away, but if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the mercury. So this has got to be years before the Aurora crash, then. Oh, we have another one here. this chamber. Okay, so that leads outside. Looks very much like it might be the uh, tunnel dug by a burrowing creature. You know what? <laughs> I think I'm now officially at serious risk of actually being lost. Jeez, that sudden load in. What the heck? Capnace, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. 
Uh, guys, if you don't follow Capnace, make sure you go give him a follow. He's been a friend of the channel for quite a while now. He's a pretty awesome guy. Great streamer. Please make sure you go give him a follow. Let me get you shout outs. There we go, Capnace. We've known you for years here. There we go. It's going really well. I'm trying to avoid getting lost in this ancient wreck of a crashed Earth vessel, or um, I don't know if it's actually from Earth, but uh, this crashed vessel. And I'm a little bit worried that I might be a little turned around. Oh, you know what? I'm not turned around. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm really loving Below Zero. They've added a lot of interesting stuff to it. Never finished the first one. I just recently finished the first one for about the fourth time or so. I'm getting distracted with all this... Ooh, interesting, what do we have here? With all this uh, wreck exploration, though, I'm actually looking for specific bits of technology. I should probably get back to looking for that. I got some important stuff from here, though, which is really nice, so I'm glad I took a little bit of a detour into wreck exploration land. You know what? This looks like we're entering a different biome entirely. Which is not really what we want. Sorry. I'm mostly trying to find sea monkey nests. Because they tend to take technology and incorporate it into their nests kind of the way birds do, which makes it real good places to scan and get uh, blueprints or pieces of blueprints for stuff that you don't have yet. by the way, folks. Four minutes until ads are about to start.
Okay, this is back where we want to be. Calorie intake recommended. Food, okay. I've never been to that particular wreck though before Kellenry. Though, in fairness, it was awfully close to a place I'd already been. truck open. Let's use the repair tool instead. That's in progress, guys. I'll be right back. Hey, uh, did you find the lieutenants? Not yet. But I think I know where they are. Good. Kill all the fuckers. Whoa. Okay. Be careful with the landings. Noted. Why do I always find the spider caves? That's what I thought. Bone horror. Yeah, oh god. I hate this. Oh, she's not dead. Interesting. It's really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now, do we trust these strange pigeon sister brothers? But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. This is making me so incredible. Okay, I'm back. 
There were three distinct parts of that wreck, the bow, the stern, and a small detached section near the bow. Okay. So now I've been to all three of them, though I haven't thoroughly explored the, um, the front end of the ship. Serves you right. Actually, do I have enough materials to... Yes, I do. Okay. I need to go back to my truck. Because that's the only piece of the ship I do not have... A, uh, I don't have a beacon for it. Since I know there's stuff there I haven't yet explored, it would probably be a good idea to uh, get that marked for ease of reference and return. that way. Shoot, where? Is it this way? Maybe. This is why I need the beacon. Thank you, Kellenry. Ah, uh, here we go. This looks like it. Since I've got fresh air, I'm going to poke around in here a little bit more.
so I haven't been in that room. Can't go up there. And that's outside again. Always come in with a dad joke. Okay, Bylicious, hang on one moment. Uh, where are we here? All right. What did the clown do when he was fired from the circus without cause? He sued for funfair dismissal. Okay, now... start exploring the exterior a little bit. I'd love to get an entrance a little bit closer to where I was exploring. Wasn't thinking quite here, but that could work. What the heck was chasing us? It sounded like something was chasing us. Oh, that's interesting. What's this? How are you doing, Pilatius, by the way? I hope all is well. So there's no entrance to any of that. <laughs> Six out of ten. They are supposed to be bad. I will remind you, they are supposed to be bad. cells and batteries and whatnots. Ah, uh, power wash simulator. 
Never tried that one myself. It does seem to be awfully popular, though. I can kind of understand the appeal. That's the same kind of enjoyment that I get from doing the Lego builds. The calming sort of, uh, you know, repetitive task. Oh, I wonder if maybe you can't actually get your ship down there. That would be unfortunate. I just kind of assumed you could because there were the underground parts with openings, but... Presumably that would be the result of the tunnelers they were logging about that were so terrifying. So I may be a little bit out of luck there. decently far in the campaign of it? Oh, that's pretty good. I didn't actually realize it had a campaign. That's kind of interesting. Alright, well... I've got it tagged. If it turns out there's anything more I need there, I can get back to it, so I'm going to leave it at that. Sea monkey. See, it's been forever since I've found any of the sea monkey nests that don't have a thing I haven't scanned yet. Are there any other locations I might find the grapple arm?
Oh, wait. Wait, just one moment. I don't think this is a grapple arm, but it's definitely something. Oh, it's a <laughs> thermal reactor module. At least it's a monkey nest that had something that I had not scanned. I will take that as encouragement to go in this direction. Oh, except this just comes out into Maida's area. I don't think there were any monkey nests down there. explored the upper reaches of it, did I? Campaign is basically how you, things you get how you get things to wash. I can talk and read. My day's been all right. I spent most of it researching Star Citizen. I logged into my account that I forgot I had and discovered that I still have a ship in Star Citizen. I've never played the game before. I downloaded it and installed it and launched it for the very first time today. But I'm gonna need to get another ship because the one that I've got, I got years ago. Uh, in 2014 to be exact, actually. And I got it as part of a promotion when I got a um, my previous video card. I'm using a 1080 right now. Before the 1080, I had been using a, a an AMD R9, and uh, for a, a while there, Star Citizen had a promotion going with AMD, where if you got an R7 or an R9 video card, you got a limited edition exclusive ship to use in the game that was AMD branded and it's a type of ship a variation of a ship that you can't get anymore so it's kind of exciting but the problem is it's a racer which you know is fine in and of itself there are racing events in Star Citizen that you can do so it's not like it's useless, but it's not the best for me because racing is not my strong suit. And uh, as a racer, it has no cargo capacity whatsoever. So I don't know how much I will get out of it beyond bragging rights. I'll probably end up having to buy another ship. Inventory full? Oh man, okay. Maybe at this point I just go home and recycle some of my inventory items that I don't need. Adding the uh, prawn suit onto the back of this thing with the dock station. I'm really starting to feel the difference in the way that the truck handles. 
It wasn't so bad with only the three modules, but with the fourth, that's really where it becomes clear. Having the ex exclusive ship is still pretty nice to find, all things considered, even if you have no plans to use it. Yeah, exactly. And it will be a head-turner, because, I mean, this is a ship that you haven't been able to get for, like, what, 2014 was nine years ago? And Star Citizen is only really starting to become a genuinely playable game rather than a playable tech demo right now. So the user base is starting to really increase. So... It's, it's just going to be a rarity that's really going to set me apart because of that. I mentioned uh, to a streamer who's been helping me get my head around Star Citizen and, and how to kind of get started in it a little bit. That Oh, hey, I found I already had a ship and it's this ship. And she kind of freaked out a little bit and said, Don't get rid of it. You can't get that anymore. kind of drags too. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to get rid of the sleeper module. Actually, come to think of it, I picked up four reactor rods. What are they? Yeah, reactor rods and several depleted reactor rods. Maybe I genuinely should build myself a nuclear reactor for the uh, for the base. Might not be the worst idea ever. kind of thinking that because I might also want to make more of these docking stations. I'm thinking of having kind of a small array of them, two or three, with different trucks with different loadouts so that I can do the modules the way I need them. Welcome aboard, Captain. I don't know if that actually makes any sense to do, but I'm thinking about it. You can see it making sense? Yeah. Just because it really is getting kind of slow and clunky. Um, is there anything I can get rid of? Uranite crystal, lead, titanium, and glass. Hmm. 
I assume you played the original Subnautica. How does Below Zero compare? Never got around to Below Zero, but enjoyed the original. I have completed Subnautica four times previously, including one time on hardcore mode. Uh, so far, I've got to say, I really, really like Below Zero. I don't know yet which is better, because I haven't finished Below Zero before. But I'm really loving the trip through it. It's got a lot of good stuff. It has a lot more voice work and a lot more characterization. Like, the character that you actually play is more of a real person in this one, I think. Alright. I think I'm gonna do it. We're gonna get started on doing it. Let's take the truck out of here. Don't think I ever actually finished the first one, but the first few times I played through, it was still in early access and not complete. It's well worth going through. It's a really great game. This one, it takes everything that's really good about the first one and improves it. Though, uh, like I said, I haven't actually finished it yet, so remains to be seen somewhat with regards to the story, I suppose. Ah, these are done. Alright. So that's going to take a while, but they'll eventually grow. Um... So we're going to be doing a little bit of base refitting here. Oh crap, ads are in progress already and they're already almost done. Sorry about that guys. That whole thing I've got where my browsers sort of stop responding, it's still happening and I think that's what just happened here. It's part of the reason I'm missing the alerts because my browser sometimes just stops updating and so the countdown that I get to when the ads are going to start stops updating as well. It's becoming quite annoying. Oh. Oh, that's awkward. I forgot I had those out there. Okay, now... Um, let me just take a look at the blueprints here.
So we need that. I need more titanium. That should be easy enough to get, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to take those two off for now. We're going to need reinforcing. So I need lithium and more titanium. a few more titanium because so I want two reinforcement pieces. space, damn it. I didn't get it. That's okay. Welcome back, Vikings. going okay. Just doing a little reinforcing so that I uh, don't destroy the base accidentally. Nineteen point eight. That ought to do it. Now I don't know if this plan is going to work. truck is too close to where I'm trying to build it.
Okay, that looks good. And there's no way in hell I'm putting another one there, so... Construction. Welcome aboard, Captain. Seventeen point eight, there we go, that'll work. Shoot. I used the two glass making the uh, the hallway. That's okay. I have four quarts, which means I have two glass. in there. Wait a minute. No, that's not the beacon. The beacon is... Actually, that's still fine. That one's good. I'll leave that where that is. How are you doing, Vikings? I hope all is well on your end. So I'm going to need titanium ingot, another advanced wiring kit, and four more glass to build another truck dock.
Just opening that up because I'm going to, I think, do another one of these rooms over there. Oh, is that going to work? I might just make it work. I'm not sure about the positioning there. We'll have to see. see how this is going to work. I want this. There. Is that not going to snap there until this is done? Okay. gonna have to go on a bit of a material finding mission here. I'm gonna need titanium and I'm gonna need quartz. take this for now. Oh, that feels so much better. Wow. The truck really does get a bit unwieldy when you attach too much crap to it. Two, so I've got some glass. Oh, we're back here again. I don't suppose I can deconstruct any of this stuff. I never thought of that before. No, no. Unfortunately, no such luck.
Thank you, little guy. Titanium ingot. And two glass. I need two more glass and an advanced wiring kit. And that means silver, so let's see about getting some of that. wiring kit of the advanced wiring kit. copper. Okay, so I need two table coral and a piece of gold. Which, honestly, except for the table coral, I think I've already got the gold, don't I? Yes, I do. And we're already in roughly the right area for table coral. Okay, that's the glass done. Oh. Table coral right there. And there.
There we go, advanced wiring kit. So I can now make a second truck dock. I just need a little more titanium for some additional reinforcement. And I still need two more nickel. Now I think there was some scannable stuff here. There's, there's the titanium. I'll get a little bit extra because I'm not used to being low on it. Inventory full? Oh no. What's the recipe for the multi-purpose room? It's uh, an ingot, right? No, it's just six titanium. Shoot. Okay. Well. All right. Let's go back and build what we're gonna build. Oops, that'll buff out, that's fine. Two-minute warning on ads, but my browser is still acting up. So there's no guarantee, unfortunately, that I'm going to be able to catch it. I will do my best. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, interesting. We're draining power fairly quickly at night. Is it still too freaking close? Wow. Maybe I'll just give up on the second dock for now. Not, like, permanently. I still want to do it, but I'm a little bit tired of wrestling with it. Like, we're going to leave that for now. Because I'm not going to have another truck to put in there anyway. So we're just going to leave that as it is. We've got it started. Maybe next time we play this, we'll come back and we'll mess with that a little bit. Probably have to put another hallway in here to space it out then put in our T-junction, and then build the dock. And which maybe means... Inventory freaking full. Uh, you know, maybe what I should be focusing on building a bit is more... 
storage for the base. Oh, shoot. Ads are in progress. Sorry, guys. I missed it. It updated all in a rush. I'll be right back. Now I'm terrified because I've got so many companions, it's inevitable that one of them is going to get set some of these off and I'm just going to get whacked. Like that, for example. Oh boy. detention center somewhere in the borough. According to what I could pass, it was used to interrogate high-value local insurgents. This is one less weapon in their arsenal. I can't believe this was actually useful for something. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. <sighs> so, storage. Thank you, Pi. I think I might actually do that. I think that makes a lot more sense than building another truck module right now. I'm going to do another storage module right here. Calorie intake recommended. Thank you. You did learn a thing about Persona 3 today? What's that? I'm having a real good time going through that. I'm not going to do it like, you know, I'm not going to just blast through it all really quickly like... But once every few weeks, I think, is probably a good pace for that one. You can actually save in the classroom? Really? How do you do that? I was not aware. Oh, right, that's a glass compartment. I need, um... Welcome aboard. I need glass. You click your desk? Holy shoot. That's really cool. I did not know. I had no idea. Oh, shoot. Uh... I suppose I can do more of that. Lithium.
gives you the option to just save. That's really nice. I had no idea you could do that. Yeah, I was thinking of making this into a tower. I'm not sure about that right now. Oh, actually, maybe I will, just because of the alien containment. Okay. Um, so I need six more titanium. Actually, probably more like 12, but we'll go with six for the moment. But that new multi-purpose room, that will house new stuff for us that's going to have alien containment, I'm thinking now. And it's going to have the uh, nuclear power plant, because I am now thinking that I do indeed want to build that. Okay, so that's five titanium. Six, seven, eight. me coming through. I'm sure I'm going to need at least one computer chip. Okay, I lost track of titanium, but I'm reasonably confident that I've got more than enough now. Looks like I've got about 15. That should put us in a pretty good place. I don't know if that's just a P3P change or what, but it's quite nice. I was expecting it to be like another study outlet or something. No, that is really good to know. I appreciate you letting me know about that, because that's going to be very nice. I had no idea. Now, I will have to try and remember that for the next time I play Persona. I don't know exactly when that's going to be, but... 
I will try to keep that in mind and uh, remember that. I love Persona Vikings. I, I've been a big fan of it since I first played it when it came out in the, well, probably closer to when Persona 4 came out, I guess, back in the PS2 days. I actually started playing them because, if I remember correctly, it had just occurred to me that I'd played a little bit of Final Fantasy, but I didn't know very much about JRPGs in general. And I was just kind of feeling something in the, that kind of line. And so I went looking and I just randomly kind of came across the Persona series. And it's not something I usually do, but for whatever reason, they looked interesting enough that I blind ordered, like, uh, you know, I, I read up on them, of course, it wasn't fully blind, but I just ordered physical copies of uh, Persona 3 and 4 from Amazon, and then, fortunately, it turned out that I absolutely fell in love with them, and I played through them in uh, succession very quickly. Actually starting to get back into Twitch more. Oh, that's awesome, Pilatius. Yes, I would welcome the reminder. I tried Final Fantasy XIV online, just couldn't get into it. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different beast. That one's a very, very popular game with a lot of people, but it's not universally loved. Oh, I don't know. This was more than a decade ago, Vikings. This was like 20, 2009, 2010 or something. That's quite a while ago. This was Persona 3 FES and Persona 4. Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden did not yet exist. Oh shoot, I'm wasting... <gasps> oh no! Oh god, please tell me some of those... Oh no! Damn it. Ah. Uh, completely ruined. I'm going to have to go get some more cuttings. I destroyed them all. Wish there was more of a guarantee when you buy games off digital platforms because you're not actually buying the game but a license that can be revoked at any time. That's true. Oh, I'm short one titanium. The thing is, though, that's actually true even of physical copies, Vikings. The only difference is that if it's digital, they have the means to take away your method of installing the software. But just because you own a physical disc that has the software on it, you're still only buying a license to use the software. You do not own the software. I 
I want to play through like the Legend of Zelda games and the Final Fantasy games, just the series in general. I enjoyed the spin-offs from those series a lot, but never really played much of the core games. That's fascinating. You should try, as far as, uh, I, I have no real recommendations as far as Zelda goes, but for Final Fantasy, it's been a bit since I played any of them, but I was mentioning earlier in the stream that I do still have an ongoing playthrough of the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters, and I would highly recommend those if you're looking to play the first six games in the Final Fantasy franchise. They are spectacularly good. I meant you're buying the physical media, whereas the digital downloads can be removed by the distribution platform. You know what? I keep forgetting that this area is a thing. What's up, RHS Jug? end up looking at them then thanks for the recommendation maybe eventually still oh that's true you are still on your quest to play through all the original xbox games first how is that going by the way how far like what kind of progress have you made welcome aboard captain okay there's the stairs done now as is custom Bioreactor. Nuclear reactor. What does that require? Three lead advanced wiring kit and a plastil ingot. That's so much cheaper than I expected. Okay, we don't need that. I might still need that. College has slowed it down a fair bit, but since I'm pretty sure I'm at least pausing my continuing education, I can hopefully focus on it more while you do work on the side. That's reasonable, yeah. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I collected the stuff for making um, the computer chip then. Let's see. I need a wiring kit, copper wire, computer chip, advanced wiring kit. Titanium ingot. Not sure if I have enough lithium. Maybe not here. 
Very close to finishing Jet Set Radio Future. Have like a chapter and a half left in that. As for your next game, don't know yet. Fair. That's reasonable. So how many games have you finished so far? Oh. What the heck? Giggle Flat, welcome in. How's it going this evening? Welcome, welcome, everybody. Uh, can Let me see. Let me get you a shout out. How was your stream, Giggle Flat? Thank you so much for sharing your community with us this evening. Giggle Flat is a uh, friend to the channel. Please make sure, if you haven't yet, that you are following. I would really appreciate that. Uh, so what's going on? What? Oh, Resident Evil. Is that one of the remakes? Are you playing the original? What's the what's the deal with your Resident Evil playthrough? I would love to hear all about that. If you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while, I will throw in real world actual physical brick lego builds as well so if any of that sounds good please feel free to hit the follow button i do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly hopefully it won't scare too many of you away well come on in folks let's get the stream started shall we whoa Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that was... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. There you go. That's a little bit of a uh, preview of what you can expect around here. Thank you so much, Giggleflat. So you're playing the first Resident Evil remake. How is that going? How far in are you? Tell me all about it. Thank you, Giggleflat. I appreciate that. I'm, I, I need to make more of those. I've been using that same one for like two and a half years now. I need to not replace it because I think people would riot, but I do need to... Oh, shh. No wonder my uh, base strength was so low. I do need to... Uh, I do need to make more of them so I can put them on a bit of a rotation, I think. I think that would be fun. So, let me see. We're just expanding the base a little bit here. Um, right, I'm looking for lithium. I'm sure I must have some more probably stuffed in my truck. There we are.
Just fought some sharks. Oh, so you're getting uh, pretty into the game then, I believe. Fourth or maybe fifth session of it. Feels like I'm probably 60 to 70% done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with it. It's been a long time since I played through it, but I do seem to remember the sharks were nowhere near the beginning of the game, but, you know, maybe not necessarily right at the end either. So your estimate sounds reasonable to me. When you go on ad breaks, it plays random clips, right? Yes, it does. I wonder if you could set up a scene with the same music, but pulls randomly from a pool of clips you have. Oh, yes, I could absolutely do that. But um, the problem is that the music would have to be an endless loop, and I don't have an endless loop version of it. So I would either have to set the music to also repeat, or you'd only have to have music for, like, the first few minutes or whatever. Okay, so now I need three lead. And just get rid of some of these other... Oh, actually, I guess it's... Um... Come on, where are you? Mostly that I don't need. It'd be hard to tell when to edit the raid video. Oh no, uh, the raid video, that's not the problem. He's talking about when I just run a random clip show when I go on break. There's no music for that. I mean, I could probably find something and put it there. It wouldn't necessarily have to be the same music. Plus, the other problem with that, though, Vikings, is that some of the clips occasionally have music of their own. I curated the video, so none of the clips that are used in the video have music that would override it, but it might get weird for certain clips. Unless the scene can be timed for the same length as the raid video, the raid video is only two minutes long. Uh, actually, the newer version of it that I've been using for the last year or so, it's two minutes and a little bit of change because I had to change the timing of it uh, because I added some transitions between the videos. But it's still approximately two minutes long. That's not nearly long enough for a break video. And cuts down on my work. Oh, no. If it's work you're talking about, I've already got a system in place. Basically, the way that the, the break clip show works, it's no effort on my end. I just have it set up as a source in OBS to do a VLC playlist. And the playlist is randomized every time that I load up OBS. So I have, like, a stream deck. Where is it? Um... I have a stream deck set up with several pages and 40 different instances of the clips. So the only time I run into problems, which happens more often than I'd like, is when I forget what the last one that I used was, and I, so I accidentally start the same one over again, because uh, it only randomizes the one time when I start up OBS, so if I hit the same button twice, it'll do the same random sequence of clips over again, so it'll look the same, but, uh, you know, it, it's... I've got 40 of them, so I don't have to worry. It's just 40 instances of the same playlist randomized differently. And so I can just make them run. And at this point, um, I've got so many clips. I looked at this the other day. I want to say I have on the order of five hours. Yes. If I were to start one of the clip shows and let it run just endlessly, I could do an entire stream. Five hours, four minutes, and three seconds worth of clips without a repeat. Yeah, I don't really need scripting at the moment. I mean, I'm thinking about maybe expanding into that, especially since ChatGPT is pretty good at helping with scripting stuff, but... It's really just not something that I'm worried about right now, because what I've got works really well. 
Oh, uh, speaking of clips, ads in progress. I'm going to run some. I wonder how bad it would be if I were to actually start the engine. Moderate damage. Serious damage. Whoops. Had you eaten a few less donuts during the mission, you might have cleared that rock, Roger. Hey, I have not eaten one single donut. Excuse me, game. Well, that escalated quickly. I played this war of mine back in 2014. It's one of the earliest games I ever played on stream. I call it Depression the Game. I don't play it anymore. It is so cruel of them to put so many Makos right here and just not let me drive them. How dare you. Whoops. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Holy crap. How am I not? Okay. Okay. I'm back. Uh, what were we doing? I was working on lead, right? Okay. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. gonna lose this fight, buddy. You really want to push it.
Okay, that's all three lead. I still need nickel, though. Ten games, not eight, but two of them are also on 360, whereas, which is where you played them instead. Well, I mean, you're playing Xbox games, right? I would say that counts. I don't think you need to play the same game once for every console that it appears on. I think once is more than enough. Okay. I guess I must have, must have stuffed the um, advanced wiring kit and the plasteel ingot somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Like, maybe, you know, if it's a specific version created for the new console, then maybe I could see it. So, not there. Ah. Thought I had two lithium there. I guess not. I don't think the first two Lego games fall under that umbrella. No. If you played the games, you played the games. And you played them on Xbox. I don't think anybody would give you crap for that. Oh. Well, I have an extra advanced wiring kit. That's funny. I think our power is dealt with for a time. Maybe means I can get rid of the bioreactor here eventually. 
Although, these things... They're not running down quickly. Those things are lasting forever. Meta's place to Marguerite's place. And I need to get some new cuttings of the spiral plant. Because I didn't realize I was destroying every single one that I had. I do think the first two LEGO games being Star Wars is a bit different than the recent LEGO Star Wars game. Oh god, the new one is so good. It's very different. It's amazing. Did that not fill my water? Wow. Oh. Whoops. I had not been drinking my reclaimed water.
Sorry, buddy. You can't get in. Leave it there. At the moment, I am doing either a channel point redemption for the next game, or if there are no redemptions, spinning a wheel to decide it, which is why I don't know what game would be next. That's fair. That is fair. So what are the options that you've currently got? Nearly any Xbox original game, as I found a good repository on, on archive.org that has nearly every Xbox original game in it. Interesting, Pyrocious. Trying to remember if they ever did any of the Simpsons games on original Xbox. Seem to remember those ones were pretty good.
Just a far off one, fair. Okay. Actually, let's skip the night. Hit and run and road rage exist on the original Xbox? Oh man. I wish they would bring those to PC, modern PC. That would be so cool. There we go. Okay, so that's the nuclear power taken care of, and we've replenished our lost stock of other stuff. I'm going to need two alien containment units next. Which means I need a heck of a lot of glass, but thankfully it doesn't have to be enameled glass. So I need four titanium and ten glass, which means I need twenty quartz. Yikes. I have hopefully a pretty accurate spreadsheet containing all the games to make sure they are tracked. Very nice. think if there's a particular area that's really, really good for quartz. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try out close to the area, the land area. Turn our beacons back on again. I don't think I've really done a whole lot of resource scavenging out that way. Little bits and pieces, I'm sure.
If I had to guess what type of game were next, it'd be a sports game, considering that 21% of the collection is sports games. Ooh. That's definitely not a challenge that I will be taking up then. If it's a sports game, though, like your what's it, your Maddens and whatnot, how do you actually finish a game like that? Like, at what point do you consider yourself to be done? Uh, winning the championship. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you, Sea Monkey. I appreciate that. JH has a going. It's good to see you. Let's just get some of the glass made. Games I think will be the biggest challenge for me to figure out if it's beaten are the few Sims games. Okay. Um, there were some ideas for that that I think could be reasonable approximations for finishing the game. I mean, they are literally games that cannot be finished. But... You could do something like create a family of sims with one of the sims, uh, preferably one of the younger ones, like a child or a baby or something like that, or a teenager, whatever age you feel is most appropriate and reasonable, uh, is your, you know, sort of designated sim, and you have to keep playing until that sim has lived out their complete lifespan and passed away of old age. At which point you will have finished the game. Oh, ads are in progress. I'll be back. Is someone up there? Oh my god. Uh Uh -huh. 
I am so sorry. <laughs> oh crap. Oh. <laughs> Wolf Chow. Excuse me, your head is buried inside the floor. Okay, I'm back. Okay, where did I leave my ship? There it is. That's probably what I'd end up doing, but I'm not entirely sure yet. It's more of an I'll figure it out when I get there. Like, if there are specific life goals I could do for them during the game so it's not just sitting there chilling, waiting. Oh, there are. Oh, um, actually, I'm thinking of The Sims 4. The earlier Sims games... Uh, geez, I barely even remember those. You might have to set some goals specifically for yourself, but I'm sure there are plenty of things you can do. lot on the ground here. Oh, sorry. There are some resources around the ground level here too, but I don't know if quartz is really all that common. There's another landing spot right there. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any quartz, though. And I got a fair bit. 
just need to find more. Possible some self-imposed challenges. Like I said, I'll figure it out when it comes up. Just ideas to think about. Don't know if it's worth worrying about at the moment, considering there are like 800 other games. That's true. But it's worth thinking about, I think, just because it is something that will eventually come up. And because it may come up with more games than you expect it to. The Sims are the classic example, but they're hardly the only games that have... Um, no real end. There are lots of those around. So, you know, if you've got, a, you know, at least the start of an answer in the back of your mind somewhere, it might help you out sooner than you expect. even if you don't have it fully figured out. This area is actually turning out to be fairly good for quartz. Just managed to skip one game as it didn't run on your CPU, only to end up installing eight others to replace it. Oh boy, Jage. I need to take my quartz and turn it to glass. Backlog can always grow, thankfully, in this scenario, unless some developer suddenly decides they want to make a new original Xbox game. I don't think this set will bear. Hey, we did it. That's enough. Have all I need. Those are challenges that are generally created for the games like uh, The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. I don't know when it started. Maybe there were rules around for some earlier ones for The Sims 1. But, I mean, uh, I don't even know if The Sims 1 was on Xbox, was it? I'm trying to think of what the Xbox versions of The Sims would be, but it's not the same as the desktop games. For consoles that early, you're probably looking at things like um, The Sims 2 Castaway, The Herbs, 
things like that that are part of the Sims franchise but are not actually the mainline games themselves. Sims, Sims 2 and Sims Bustin' Out are the three on the original Xbox. Bustin' Out, I think, has a story to go along with that, so I'm not worried about that. But the Sims and Sims 2 are questions. Okay, fair. Yeah, there might be some challenges available for them. Yeah, agreed. It, it's really not worth worrying about. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Alien containment. Spins the wheel because no redeems yet and gets the sims immediately. <laughs> See? You never know. should be that. There's also 12 Star Wars games on the original Xbox, which a few you're looking forward to. There's also a Star Trek game. What was the Star Trek game? Universe. Interesting. That sounds familiar, but I don't know anything about it. An aquarium just for looks, or your own personal sushi factory. You decide. and stuff for this. So I have to put a hatch in here. Or maybe two. I could always 
get rid of the stairway there at the ladder and um, just use the tank to get up there. Okay, so that's alien containment done. I can at least do one hatch right away. What do you mean minus one to hull strength? That's not on the base, it's in the base. Ugh. Ridiculous game. It apparently didn't review well. Eh, people on the internet don't know how to review stuff. I wouldn't worry too much about that. So we're going to have that growing. Um, what else can we do? I'm not really any closer to getting the uh, nickel I need. Steel Battalion Controller? What is that? I'm just kind of randomly swimming around. I'm looking for things, but at the same time, I'm also kind of waiting for a sea monkey to randomly find me and just happen to give me some nickel. A mech suit simulator which had its own controller. is It's got to be possible to play the game without having the controller though, right? Pilicious. And I take it then that the controllers are somewhat rare and difficult to acquire these days. 40 buttons, 3 foot paddles, 2 joysticks, a throttle handle, an eject button, a radio dial. That just sounds like a 
relatively complicated Hodas. Like a flight stick. You might want to do a little research and see if there are other uh, setups that can handle it. You might be surprised at how feasible it could be. The controller at the moment is eBaying at 500. I mean, honestly, for a controller of that complexity, that's... That seems cheap to me. It was probably pretty close to that when it was new. My father has been learning to play Microsoft Flight Simulator because he's always wanted to learn to fly. And... Ow. And, uh... There are various controllers for the flight games and things like that that can run well over $500 new. I mean, you can also get cheaper ones. But 500, that doesn't seem... It's not excessive at all. Which, you know, doesn't necessarily mean that it's affordable at all. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, oh, that should be easy. I'm saying that, uh, you know, that doesn't seem unusual. I haven't seen a Mr. Freezy in a while. I wonder where the heck they went. I'm not complaining at the lack of them, by the way. Just noting. I'm wondering if I managed to kill them all off. We can only hope. Steel Battalion is also brutally hard, like permadeath brutal, as in if your mech is about to blow up and you fail to press your eject button, your save file gets deleted. Yeah. Yeah, that's Iron Mode. Iron Man Mode. Or uh, in the original Subnautica, they called that hard, uh, Hardcore Mode. I beat the game in that mode. There's something to be said for it. Not all of the things that can be said for it are good, though. It sounds like quite the experience, though. I'm kind of sad that I never actually got to play that one. Well, looks like our new crop is coming up nicely. Ah, they're actually done growing. That's even better. Okay. However, Welcome aboard, Captain. we're now getting well after four o'clock in the morning. I think, um, let me just check my inventory. Ah, yes, okay. I think it's about time we went and raided. That's some hardcore feature, not that it's easy to circumvent if it won't, yeah. Well, I mean, it's incredibly easy. It's exactly the same as survival mode. That's the only difference. So if you want to circumvent it, just play survival mode. If you're playing hardcore mode in Subnautica, at least, I'm not saying you can do this in, uh, you know, Steel Battalion, but in Subnautica, you're not forced to play with that. It's described as, like, the most immersive mech piloting game. Kind of sounds like that might be true, honestly. All right. Let me see who's live that we can potentially go raid. Actually, it's not entirely true that it's exactly the same except for survival mode. If you're playing hardcore in Subnautica, it also does not give you a spoken warning when you're getting close to running out of air. So you have to pay attention. 
Uh, let me see. Who do we have online this evening? That's kind of a tough choice tonight. There's not that many people on. Uh, maybe put the link in Discord, if you don't mind, Pilicious. I think that would be fun to see. Hmm. Just uh, taking a quick look. Hmm. All right, let me see. Okay, this is not an easy evening. I don't really know anybody on. I, I know maybe one or two people. Let's raid Julia. What if Julia? She is playing some Minecraft this evening. So here is her link. That is not... Oh, thank you, Pilatius. That's not Julia's link, bot. That's my link. Here, I'll type it out. There we go. That is her link, and I will get you guys the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, if you've got emotes from another streamer that you like, if maybe Twitch themselves have some emotes you like to use for raids, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It will all be good in my book. So let's go visit What If Julia, see how Minecraft is treating her, see what she's getting up to in the game this evening, and uh, I will be back on Thursday. I will not be on tomorrow night. I don't stream Tuesdays or Wednesdays, so I will be back Thursday. I don't know what we're going to be playing on Thursday, but it is also a good time to remind you folks that every month I do a long stream of the month, usually the last Friday of the month. This month is no exception, and this coming Friday is the long stream of the month because it's the last Friday of the month so I will be on right now I am tentatively thinking that we might play Star Citizen on uh, the long stream but I'm also kind of debating maybe doing the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild uh, I'm just kind of I'm hoping to maybe time Zelda a little bit better so that when we get uh, finished with that one finally we're closer to the time that uh, Tears of the Kingdom finally comes out so We'll have to see how it goes. So anyway, let's get the raid started. We're going to get over to Julia's place. Um, it looks like she's doing some building. She's got some new shaders going for some stuff that's uh, going on in her channel. And it's looking pretty gorgeous. So I wouldn't mind checking out what she has going on there. So let's get over there. I'll see you over in her channel in just a few minutes. And I'll see you back here on Thursday night. So have a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever where you are in the world. Have a good next few days as well, and I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Thank you all for being here.
Not that the game would ever throw anything really terrible at us. Ah! Giant Chara spider? What the hell? That's so disgusting. Ooh. I hate it. No, we're not going there. Oh! I guess we're going there. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. Saw it a while ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger's sweater. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> Wait, what?